Greetings, we are the Octarian Council. We are pleased to connect with all of you. We are so very interested in the development of the new self that is taking place within each and every human being at this time. You are essentially shifting your consciousness from within by noticing that you are more than the identity that you had previously clung to as the real you. Now, as you transition from being an egoic being to being your higher self, this place you are in now is the most interesting and fascinating to those like us who observe this process of evolution. We see you becoming more of who you are every day because we witness you as an energy that vibrates rather than a human body that speaks, thinks and acts. The up leveling of your vibration is inevitable because your planet is shifting just as the entire solar system moves through the galaxy to green, greener pastures so to speak. It is time for you to be looking at yourselves in new ways, seeing the eternal expansion of your consciousness to include more of the sense of self that you had previously. You are meant to grow and become and the process of your evolution is through the realization that nothing else really matters. That is why you experience loss. That is why you experience the breakup, the loss of money, home, possessions, even your youth. You continue to lose more the longer you move through time and space there on earth, which eventually helps you to come to peace with the fact that you were never meant to cling to these illusions in the physical in the first place. It was something that you were taught to do. You were taught to identify as a race, a religion, nationality, gender, and so on. And as those things are becoming less important to the awakened collective, there is pushback. People who are still clinging want you to cling as well. They want you to have a national pride, a religion, an easily identifiable gender, and so on. The way of the ego is to cling, to attach, to assign meaning to the meaningless. And the way of the higher self is to be present, to care, not about form, about structures, about made up ideas like a country and instead to be more unconditional love, to show more compassion and to create from the beauty that is all around the higher self. That this is essentially what you expect to do after you ascend, but you are in this transitional phase right now where you are stri stripping away the identities of the ego in order to become your higher self. And those of you who have done a lot of that work can begin to identify as your higher self right now. You don't have to wait for a solar flash, an event, three to however many days of darkness that is being talked about and so on. You don't have to wait for it to occur, anything to occur outside of you in order for you to, to decide that you do want to identify as an infinite, eternal, formless being of light and love. As you make your expressions about that feeling that you have cultivated within yourself, you light up to others and then others will be more interested in what you have than in the shiny new car or the big house or the luxurious clothing and other items that they have. And they will want you to teach them how to find that place inside where they too can have inner peace and a sense of satisfaction just from existing. This is why we continually say that as the awakened collective, you are leading humanity. It is because we can see how the shift will actually continue to unfold. It will be a grassroots movement where all of you who are paying attention to what's going on inside of you will lead the newly awakened back inside themselves to where everything that they need already exists. And as you do, you help the collective of humanity move from an egoic one to one that exists as a collective, as a higher, and then you will experience a completion of the shift. We are the Octarian Council and we have enjoyed connecting with you.